the dean you need. I am the dean you love. Please come back to me. I am the dean you know. I am the dean you need. I am the dean you love. Please come back to me. This is Joshua Salam once again on Dean TV, always on, always live. I'm here in London at a very nice theater with the one and only, you probably heard him before. If you didn't, you're gonna meet him now. Brother Kareem Salama. Salaam alaikum. Alaikum Salaam, how you doing bud? Kareem is, you know, there's a lot of, uh, alhamdulillah, it's a growing uh, uh, market for Muslim artists and singers and things like that. He's the only one I know Maybe I'm gonna ask you, but he's the only one I know that has a country theme to his music. I see him making those faces, trying his best to break my nerve. But I'm calm in the face of anger and I don't reply to the ugly words. If they ask me why I'm silent, they say in this world you gotta take respect. I say, gentlemen, I'm like incense. The more you burn me, the more I'm fragrant. We can fight, but we don't need to fight tonight Yeah, we'll put out the fire If I'm gonna fight, then I fight for what's right Let's go a little higher Cause I was born, you see And I was raised to be I laced the lines of these times with generous peace It's just amazing that you know Muslims are in every avenue. So tell me about how you got the brought country sounds to Nasheed and, and, and the Muslim artists. Well, I was born I was born and raised in Oklahoma, and uh, I mean everybody knows that sort of uh, number of great country artists come from there. You know Garth Brooks, uh, Reba McIntyre, and on and on and on. So it's kind of always in the background there, so mm -hmm. it just influenced my sound. I mean, it, and, and the music's not purely country, it's, mm -hmm. it's sort of a combination of things, but you can just, you can it's hear it. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely hear it distinct, yeah. sort of. And, and particularly probably in, in, in some of my inflections and kind of the, the way that I mm -hmm. pronounce things or sing things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's there just because it's there, like, it was just always there, mm -hmm. you know, as part of the undercurrent of music in, in Oklahoma. I wanna live in a land called paradise I wanna go to the valley of the king I wanna live in a land called paradise Wanna see the birds fly and I wanna hear the angels Sing the praises of my Lord so far above As I move poetically with struggle I fall in love so, Yeah, cause I can hear that cause people ask us Well why did you guys choose rap? And it's like, I didn't choose it, this is who I am So would you say that that's kinda how you are with Since you're from Oklahoma and this was the culture that it just Became you as you started to sing? Yeah, I think so I mean even when I, even when I was singing like pop songs it would come out like that Right, yeah, right it, it would come out with that hint of like Country-ishness My good old days you was pretty good looking back to my whole size 80 shades I was living on the edge of life rolling down the hill on my radio flyer Hands up, eyes wide, laughing with friends screaming faster and start a little higher like I started, you know, I memorized poetry uh -huh. Like that was kind of how I started writing music okay. And the first poem I memorized was John Donne's Valediction for Bidding Morning. And so okay. when I sing that, I'll sing a little bit of that. So I, I wrote the, I wrote sort of a melody for it to memorize it. Okay. So it was like, uh, As virtuous men pass mildly away And whisper to their souls to go While some of their sad friends do say The breath goes now and some say no so let us melt and make no noise, no tear floods, nor sigh tempest smooth. And it, you know, it goes on and on. Why you on. stop? Why you stop, man? You know, DTV people want to hear because you, it's, girl. It's, it's always like awkward when you get into something <laughs> and everyone's kind of looking at you. <laughs> nah, man, it sounds good. It sounds good. So where do you, where, how, how long you been doing this now? Um, like doing it where I go around and sing in front of people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably, probably like, I think I, 2005, 2005. Two, uh, 2004 maybe, yeah, first time was 2004. First time was where? 
It, it was at Isna. Was it? Yeah, it was like uh, they just open like an open mic thing. Uh huh. And um, or they, they you know you could send in your tape. Uh huh. And I sent in a tape and then let me come up and sing there. I came up and sing like acapella. And man, people were just like, <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? People were like, what? They were, were they like this? Uh, I was doing what? No, I was doing what people were doing. They were laughing. No, they weren't laughing. They, like, they, they, at first, I think they thought it was like maybe a joke or something. Like that. They, yeah, they, people, why? Like a Muslim country guy that has yeah, like, like, they like never was, heard it before. That's yeah, what it like, was, right? Like, yeah, like I was maybe just playing around. But right. they, yeah, but then, then people realized. People, right, people start realizing you're serious when you start closing your eyes and doing all that. <laughs> Well, you still closing your eyes and you still going about, do, about 10 years later. So, <laughs> so you started in 2004, well, here we are 10 years later. Where do you see yourself for the next two to five years? Where are you taking this? Man, you know what? People ask me that, like, I never really know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably, you're probably the same way as an artist. Like, you're not really sure. I mean, I, I want to keep making music. Um, I do think, though, that the way that I make music, it keeps changing mm -hmm. because I, I think I sort of, in the past few years, I sort of changed my sound, and then I'm, I'm kind of finding where I want to even out, which is kind of stripping, kind of stripping down the music. Um, I mean, I love music, but I, but I wanted to serve like the story and serve the lyrics, and I think I went through a little phase where it was kind of overtaking what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And early on, it was really stripped down, but I was still learning sort of the arrangement process. Mm -hmm. So really, I, what I want to do is just make, you know, really powerful music that, like, you know gets right into people's hearts, bypasses any other prejudices or anything like that and just and hopefully like whatever light is there it just like it you know it, it's like another um, like Kindle, you know, that, that uh, well, you heard it here. Kareem Salman is doing some uh, bypass heart songs uh, <laughs> to get right at you. Right. We can fight, but we don't need to fight tonight. Yeah, we'll put out the fire if I'm gonna fight then I fight for what's right. Go a little higher Cause I was born, you see And I was raised to be I laced the lines of these times We're generous, we can fight But we don't need to fight tonight Yeah, we'll put out the fire If I'm gonna fight, then I fight For what's right Let's go a little higher We can fight, but we don't need to fight tonight yeah, we'll put out the fire If I'm gonna fight, then I'm gonna fight for what's right Where can people find out more about your music? And do you have any projects going? Those are two things I want to ask you now. Where can they go? You got Facebook, website, some things. And what's your next project that you're trying to get out? I, I mean, I, I'm on Facebook. I don't use it as much as I should. Everybody tells me I should. But you can, I mean, you can find my music on, on iTunes or at KareemSalama.com. But uh, the main thing I'm doing right now is we're working on some like, you know, some some kind of acoustic stuff, some stripped down things, mm -hmm. um, and we we'll try to maybe we're actually thinking about just doing where we release a song each month. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Yeah, kind of see how that how that goes because you know everything's changing, so I think it, it might uh, kind of maybe do a, release a song each month and then compile it towards the end, mm. or like after after a year or whatever, put them all together, maybe add a few. But yeah, that's what I'm as far as music, that's what I'm doing right now. And, and I like the way you bring all of your talents into your into your performance. So if you didn't know, Kareem, you know he used to he used to box. You know sometimes he shadow boxes just to stay in shape. And I, I you know I saw some of his videos. Brother was getting down. You know, get down, have some moves and everything. So where's where's no don't be don't be like this. Man. You made the video. The bangles were walking like Egyptians, making me the cool kid in school. And saying one nation under God was an honor, not a lawsuit. Hey, hey, what you say? Remember 1980 something, playing kick the can outside all night. And the world had So, where you get all those moves from? Is that from Oklahoma too? Or is that from the uh, you know Egyptian background? Where, where's all that come from? No, I like, I like, uh, I like dance. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, I mean, I, I took a little ballet. Yeah? Yeah, just really more for like the. Like for the posture, uh -huh. you know, it's sort of like I like, like one of the things I, I, I would say I like about the way Michael Jackson danced. I mean, not all of his dancing, but some of it is it, it was even though it had that street element, uh -huh. it was it was still something traditional, something rooted in like in traditional dance. And so mm -hmm. he combined those things really well, mm -hmm. and it, it had that sort of you know that sort of like that edge of the street, but mm -hmm. at the same time it had that grace and beauty of like somebody who knew how to point their hands and you know lift their chest and mm -hmm. things like that. 
Um, so yeah, I like I like dance in general. Ain't that something that you know people like him just make you feel so? I never thought all about stuff with Michael Jackson. I just thought he was, he's like no, the way he pointed his hand that was very traditional. <laughs> Mashallah, this guy's deep brother, Reeves Oliver. So so again, um, so you, the projects you say you're not one big project, but you're gonna try to bring out like um, a song a month, and they can find you on on Facebook. And did you mention your website? Yeah, KareemSalam.com, and we just, we, actually I just put out like an acoustic version of, the, like the most recent album we did was City of Lights, mm -hmm. and I just put out like the, the title track, we just did an acoustic version of that, mm -hmm. and just put it out like, I think a few days ago. Okay. Yeah. So those who, uh, who like this brother, who like his sound, you need to tune in to his Facebook, to his website, and if you can't catch him there, come on to Dean.TV, we got some videos of him up, You'll be able to check out all his, his, his uh, dance moves, and you can see the, the posture from the boxing and the ballet just coming together <laughs> as, as one nice mesh of, of movement. So alhamdulillah, uh, we hope that this brother stays in the business for a long time, uh, you know, it's a beautiful brother, beautiful music, so you heard him here, this is... Joshua Salam with Kareem Salama on Dean.TV. Always on, always live. Always live. <laughs>